All right. Well, change the position of the mic. I don't know if it'll be any better, but let's do the speed guy. So let's talk about what makes it better for top end speed or high velocity stuff is that we're going to really go through a short range of motion. Uh, so we'll be more open joint angle. We're going to have very, very little time to change directions uh, at the bottom of the movement. Uh, and we're still going to try to produce a good amount of force. So not super heavy. This is going to be more in that like 65, 75% range. Uh, I'm going to want to cycle the barbell kind of quickly, relax. Uh, <laughs> but we're going to just try to make it so that our deformation at the bottom of the range of motion is minimal. We're staying in high joint angles uh, and we're moving this thing relatively quickly. Okay, so let's take a look at it. So we're going to have a lot of eccentric on this one. So we're going to start here. We're going to do a short dip and drive. So I'm catching it. I'm bringing it down close to my body. I'm trying to stop it here and go right back up almost in the same moment. Bring it back down, catch it right back up, catch it right back up. Okay. So it's going to be a little bit closer to our time constraint uh, that we have when we're doing top end speed work and high velocity movements where our ground contact time is really short. You can look at your ground contact time as a basic rate of force development window. So whatever you're going to do, you got to do it in that really short period of time. So this helps with that. So any which way, I hope those make sense. Give them both a shot. Don't forget to like the video, comment about how you like it. Uh, subscribe to the channel. There's a lot more coming, but let's get it.